Well, good morning, folks. So, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name's Crazy Quady. Uh, I do a lot of camping and stuff, and that's what we're about to do right now. So, if you guys watched the video, a couple videos back, I went out to western Nebraska, west central Nebraska, and I did a bunch of walleye fishing. And we had a really good day. So, I'm headed back out there, uh, but this time I got the truck loaded up to camp, and I'm going to be spending two nights out there and we're gonna be trying to find some monsters. So, I'm hoping this works out. Uh, I'm meeting up with Jeff again, he's got his boat, he's got his truck with his camper shell on the back, and we're just gonna hang out and see what we can do. Uh, I don't exactly know what the plans are. We might end up going somewhere else for the second night, because uh, there are some other spots around there that we can fish, but I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, in that last video that I was out there fishing, man, we caught, over the course of the day, we caught 47 fish. And honestly, I don't feel like I edited that video very well uh, to show the best catches, but there was just so much, it was hard for me to get through. I don't know, I could have done better on that one, I feel like. And uh, all I showed on that video were the walleyes that we caught, but we did catch a couple crappie. Uh, I don't think I caught any of them. I think Jeff caught a couple of crappie. We saw a bunch of carp rolling. I really wish I had a bow, uh, but I don't. But I also caught a nice bass out of there, which was three and a half pounds. And it's kind of funny, throughout the entire day, I kept saying, man, I'm surprised that we haven't caught any bass. I haven't got any bass to hit. And then the very end of the day, right before we were getting the load, the, getting ready to load the boat at the end of the day, I hooked into that three and a half pounder. So who knows what we're gonna catch. We are definitely going to be targeting walleye. Uh, it would be nice to get something over 20 inches. Um, the big one last time, I believe, was right about 18. Uh, and I couldn't tell you what my personal best for a walleye is. Uh, the one I, I caught, like, one last year that was pretty decent sized. And I want to say that we kind of guesstimated. I was with Jeff again at that one. To say we kind of guesstimated that to be like 2022 we didn't have a tape measure or anything with us so uh, i do have a tape now and he's got boards in this boat so if we catch something big we'll definitely get it on record so uh i'm proud let's see how far away am i uh, i'm about 57 minutes away from the lake it was about a three hour drive so uh, it's 8 42 right now we've got all day to fish Hopefully there's some campsites free. There should be. They have open camping back up. If not, we'll figure it out. I'm not too worried about it. But uh, I guess stay tuned for the adventure guys. There should be probably two to three videos coming out of this trip at least. So it should be a good one. And uh, I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you can see that out there. That's a flooded field right there. Can you see that? Probably not. But it has rained like non-stop for the past like two or three days at least. Uh, rain and drizzle, so I'm assuming that lake is going to be up a little bit higher than the last time we were there. But we'll see. Uh, either way, I feel like we should have some luck. So stay tuned, guys. We'll uh, see you at the lake. made it to the lake I guess we're gonna get to fishing water definitely came up a bit huh yeah. and there's like 10 trucks up there so there's way more people uh, I talked to a guy at the gas station for uh, when I stopped and he was headed out here uh, he said that when they were out here last week they boated 130 fish in six hours but they only caught two keepers so we still did better than they did so Anyways, guys, we're going to get headed out. Uh, I got to get rigged up and get chest camera on. And then me and Jeff are going to go slay some ice. So stay tuned. We're on a rescue mission. Found a dirty old beer bottle. Jeff's going to grab that out of the water. If you guys are out and you see crap like that floating around, pick it up. Now you definitely got the Rona. <laughs> Last time we were out here, I just had the one spinning rod that I have had forever. I ran and picked this one up. It was just a, it's a combo from... 
Shields. It's a Fenwick Nighthawk rod. It's still just a medium and a Fluger reel. Um, it's a little bit softer than that Abu Garcia rod that I have. And uh, I was actually looking for like a medium light and they had some, but they were incredibly expensive. Like this was half, this combo was half the price of one rod. So we'll see. Uh, I've got it strung up with eight pound braid and I'm gonna throw on a quarter ounce jig head, pink. Um, I bought some of the same kind of stuff that Jeff was using, here they are. I've got a few different packs of these in different colors. These are all quarter ounce. Uh, and we're gonna throw these around, see if we can catch them on this. Ready to roll, let's go. Oh, that cast so much nicer. <laughs> so much nicer. So since we're camping tonight, guys, I guess the goal for today is to catch a couple to keep for dinner. Oh! Man! Two good hits on the first cast. And I'm out here just jacking it up. There we go. Oh, you son of a... Damn. These guys are so frustrating. I didn't even... I didn't set the hook on him. Just reeled down on him. It was the issue we were having last guy, last time, guys. Like, you couldn't set the hook on these guys. You jerked it at all. It was coming out of their mouth. So you had to just reel down on them. And... I was trying. Didn't get it. It's a lot warmer here today than it was the last time I was here. It's like at least 20 degrees warmer right now. And there's been a ton of rain, so conditions have definitely changed. Water's muddier, uh, so it's just gonna be different today. Let's see if we can figure them out. And we got grass going down in the water. I think when we hit a few last time, it was right on that grass dirt transition. Jeff caught one. Was it a large mouth? No, it wasn't. Nope, it's an eye. With a net. Nope. Is that a, on a crankbait? Yep. Well, there you go. I don't know. That one's like borderline. Might keep. Well, first catch. I've been on the boat for 15, 20 minutes. Oh, oh no, he's touching 15. And it's a keeper. Well, Jeff caught first. To, caught his dinner. Now I gotta catch mine. Hell, we can go fish that creek spot again, too. I know if you want to catch carp, no problem. I wouldn't mind catching them. Corner night crawlers. Then you also get those damn suckers. Ooh. Damn, Jeff's onto a good one. That, that looks like a bass, thing. is it? Yeah, that's a good wiper. I think it's a wiper. Looks if not, like it's a, a big, a big guy. ass eye. Wiper or white bass. There we go. That's a good one. We didn't hook into anyone, any of them that big last time. There you go. That's a good one. Decent. I mean, it ain't bad. Well, just boated two fish. Maybe I should change color already. One of them is more than one. Well, I got, I got hit again. Dang. All right. I got to switch out what I'm doing here. Mm-hmm. Yep, I'm gonna have to switch. At least get the rest of my stuff rigged oh, up. Nice walleye. Nice eye. Man, Jeff's hammering them. Well, that's a good one, yeah. That's a real good one. Hell. Okay. Jeff hammered another eye. So he's got two eyes and there's a white bass or a wiper. Which is probably just gonna go out. Yeah, we don't need to keep that. So, is that on the chartreuse again? Oh yeah, that's a car crankbait. So I need to switch out. I need to tie some other stuff on. I don't have anything else rigged up on my other rods. <laughs> 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 
Be careful, buddy. That's a good one. I'm gonna guess 17. Close. 16 three quarter. Not too bad, bud. Yeah, I'm failing. I gotta switch out what I'm doing here. Get some other stuff tied up. I'm gonna take this pink off and put a green on that rod because I wanna catch one on that rod because it's my new rod, right, you know? Jeff's gotta pull that other fish out of the well. There we go. Let's get those guys swapped out. Get a face full of water. Well, there's at least supper time. Yeah. Now I don't even have to do anything. <laughs> And look pretty. Yeah, I'm good at that. <laughs> I'm white trash beautiful up in this motherfucker. I tell you what. Oh, I got hit there. Dang. There we go. Oh, oh no, I'm on. I'm still on. Feel like the netter? Uh, no. Not at all. Maybe. Well, maybe now. Nope, it's a wiper. Wiper or white bass anymore. I don't know. Yeah, excuse our ignorance to these guys. I don't know these. I don't. I know you can identify them by like their. They've got patches on their teeth or like tooth patches on their tongue, like hard patches. But that's about the only way I I know how to tell the difference. And I don't even know what I'm looking for in that regard. I think one has. Two and three. one has three, yeah. I really can't tell on that. It's hard to even get your... Uh, that looks like one, two, three. Three, so what's three? Yeah, we'd have to look. <laughs> there we go, guys. Uh, caught a decent one. If you can uh, clearly identify that for me, let me know. We're just going to call it a wiper because I have no idea. Um, and we're going to let him go. I've just never really cared. No, I mean, and where I'm at, you know, near Omaha or Lincoln, you really, you don't see them really at all anywhere. Uh, you can catch some like white bass out of Salt Creek, and I think there's wipers in, in Branched Oak, but other than that, like you just don't see much. There we go. I'm on. we got here guys not fighting super hard another wiper no that's a nice no there's another wiper i got it well whatever these guys are i'm hitting them well there we go caught another one not too shabby get him back in the water Off he goes. What's well, two of those guys? Can't catch a walleye to save my life. Because I said I was going to come out here and catch walleye. Jeff's on again. That feels like a good one. See swirls, no fish yet. Let's dig it under the boat. Another eye, man. Looks like another keeper, too. 15 and 3 quarters. Another keeper. Jeff's just hammering them things. All right, guys, we're back at the the ramp over here. It's almost, it's almost 1 o'clock. We're going to grab some lunch. And then get back at it. I still haven't caught a walleye. Uh, surprisingly... We got Jeff's caught quite a few tied up. And I got those couple wiper or white bass, whatever they were. I think they're wipers. But uh, we didn't keep any of those. We don't plan to keep any of those. So at least we've got some fish for dinner tonight. Hopefully I can hook up with a walleye before the day's over just to say I got one today, but we'll see how it goes. We're gonna grab some lunch here and get back at it. My lunch today. Six inch ham and cheese sandwich. Got some Oreos, Pringles, some Kool-Aid. Man. 
hammer down on this. All right, guys. Well, we're back in the boat. Just up there fishing. Uh, I tied on a bigger crankbait. It's like white and black. Kind of a shad looking color guy. Gizzard shad. Gizzard shad. And I'm gonna toss that around. We're kind of back in one of these cuts. Uh, I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. There's cows right up to the water. So, we'll get to rolling here. See if we can catch something. Oh, cows up there, guys. There's a little baby one right there. Taking a drink. <laughs> oh, you want to fight now? Did you get one? I think it's weeds. Pretty shallow right there. Oh, nope, there we go. I'm on. What is that? Is that a big eye? What is that? It's a what? What? Oh, it's a white. White or wiper? Yeah, another one. That's all I can catch today, guys. I can't catch a walleye to save my life, but if these guys want to eat my bait, that's for sure. All right, guys. Well, tried not to do busting a nut all over my hand. So there's some on the boat now. I got to, yeah, you can see him juicing on my hand there. So I guess these guys are spawning right now, huh? I mean, there'd be no other reason for that. Uh, that's the first time I've got juiced on like that. So we'll toss them back in the water here. <laughs> got, got fish jizz on me. Get that washed off my hand. Just won't stick my hand in my mouth anytime soon. Uh, it's not what I'm hoping to catch today. With as many as I've caught, though, it wouldn't be bad. I mean, I could definitely take home some food to eat, but that's not target species for me right now. So we're going to keep tossing. I mean, I tied that crankbait on because we were thinking there might be some northern back here, but that wasn't it either. So anyways, we'll get back to fishing. It's good crappie. There we go. Damn, I was just reeling it in because I was going to recast like I wasn't even trying. Yeah. I had one too. That's a, that's a nice eye. There we go. I just had to change my bait. Well, it might keep. Well, we don't need to keep them today. No, I was keeping them just to get the biggest ones for us for tonight. Yeah. All right, guys. Well. I finally decided to hook into a walleye here. We've been back in this cut throwing crankbaits and I just decided to pick that chartreuse jig back up with the grub on there and a couple casts in he hit. I was sitting on the back of the, I was sitting on the chair back here and uh, I started reeling it in really quick because I was gonna recast like I had gotten it past the point where I thought there were gonna be fish at and he came up and hit it, he hammered it. And that was probably the hardest hitting while I've had out of this lake so far he came up there was no question that this dude was there with and every other one that we seem to be catching or I seem to be catching at least on those jigs you really just got to ease into them so awesome to catch this dude we're not going to keep him today because we've got a few and we're going to be out here probably tomorrow too anyways so we're going to toss him back but you guys see all them teeth he's got in there I don't know if you guys are familiar with walleye some of you might not be watching this, but they have a lot of teeth in there, so you don't want to stick your hand in their mouth. And then their gill plates here are also pretty sharp. I mean, it's not terrible, but they start thrashing around. That'll cut you up a little bit, but there we go, guys. Get them back in the water. That water feels good, though. All right, guys. Uh, we're heading in. We've caught a few fish. I caught a couple walleye. One of them was keeper size, but Jeff had already caught enough to keep for dinner tonight. And then we pulled in those. We're just going to call them wiper because neither of us really know any better. So we're headed back in. Uh, we haven't found a campsite yet. We got to go get that stuff set up. And then we're going to, we got to run to the store because neither of us were smart enough to bring a towel and take a shower here. So <laughs> We got to find a local store and then we're going to get back to camp where we're going to cook up some fish tonight. So stay tuned guys. All right guys, we've made it back to camp. Here we are. 
if you guys can see. Uh, got entirely too much crap in here as usual, but I'm set up. Jeff is uh, getting his set up. He sleeps in the, he's got his, is this your first time sleeping in the back of here? What's that? Is this your first time camping in the back of here? Yes. So, this is first time camping in his uh, truck shell. He's really simple, I'm gonna run into your trailer. He's just got a cot back here, the mattress. He doesn't have an eight foot bed though. And his topper is slightly taller than cab height. Same as mine. But he's just got, uh, his is really simple also, just like mine. He's got just as much headroom as I do, but he's got a lot more space down here that I don't have, which is why I'd really like to get an eight foot bed. But uh, he's getting, he's already rolling on dinner here. I gotta, he's getting his stuff set up. Man, you got way more cooking stuff than I do. Like I don't bring any of that stuff with me, but I don't even know if I have my big grill with me anymore. But we're gonna get that fish cooked up. Yeah, uh, don't really know what we're gonna do with it yet. Just bread it and fry it, typical. And I think Jeff said he's got some tater salad. We've got some tater chips, so. Oh yeah, it all fits together. That's not bad. I just hate washing stuff, especially at camp. <laughs> so that's why I don't do any of that. That's why I always eat those really simple things because it's just a pain to me to try to do any of that stuff. But hey, if you want to do it, do it. So let me go grab the fish over here. Skeeter. We got the boat plugged in. Batteries are charging. Left my beer over here. So we only ended up keeping those two walleye. So we've got a couple eyes in here. We're gonna get those cooked up. And uh, yeah, should be a good tasty dinner tonight. Boys. This campground's nice. Most places don't have pavement around the fire ring like that, which, I should uh, wander around a little bit and see if we can find some firewood, huh? And if you can't tell, we both got a little crispy. Yeah, he's a little bit of a farmer yeah. tan line there. Just a little. Uh, I'm doing about the same over here. Uh, we went to the store, I got, we bought some sunscreen for tomorrow. Luckily I have a long sleeve t-shirt style hoodie. So I'll probably have that on all day. And the Dollar General we went to actually had like net gaiters. So I bought one of those. So I'm gonna try to keep completely covered up tomorrow so that I don't burn to a crisp because we're gonna be out here all day tomorrow and then we've got all day Friday also. So we're we're only one day into this and we're both a couple crispy critters already. <laughs> I'm helping. Look at me. I'm a real boy. We may have another visitor showing up tonight and then actually probably fishing with us tomorrow. Is he going to fish with us? I think so. Uh, one of Jeff's buddies, Jake. Josh. Josh. So. He broke down and. He's a. Uh, so. so. Jeff drives truck. He's uh, He does fuel delivery and Josh does that also. And Josh. Is not from around here. He don't do fuel delivery. He just hauls kind of whatever, everything, <laughs> anything, anything and everything. Reefer. But he blew his turbo up in his truck, so he's kind of stuck in the area. And we're here, so yeah, come on out. We got plenty of beer, so oh yeah, that's looking good. It smells damn good. Mm -hmm. Fresh caught walleye. All right, guys, fish is all cooked up here. We've got some tater salad. I got some sour cream and onion chips too. We're gonna get this eaten, eaten up. I'm just gonna grab a couple of pieces of fish here. By him. Ooh, and he's even got tartar sauce. <laughs> he's way prepared. You're gonna make me. Uh, you're you're putting my camping game to shame. I don't do this. I eat shit out of bags when I go camping. <laughs> <laughs> right, there we go. Here's dinner. All very good. All thanks to Jeff, because he's got a boat. He knows how to catch walleye. I suck at it, <laughs> even though I caught a couple today, I guess. Well, if you would just listen to me. I know. Of course, we were up here last week, a couple weeks or whatever it was, and we were catching them all in those grubs, so I went and bought a bunch of grubs. 
you know, I'm gonna throw those things all day and I'm gonna slay these walleye when I get up here and they're not working. I mean, I caught a couple and he's hammering them on crankbaits. So yeah, I should just listen to him, but. <laughs> Even gave you the same yeah. damn crank. Yeah, that I was using. and I threw it around for a little bit. I didn't catch anything, so I went back to the grubs. And but hey, you were throwing the crankbait around, and I tossed that grub out. I hammered one, and then you caught what three in a row, three casts in a row, right? Something like that. Yeah. So hey, I'm not completely stupid, <laughs> but we're gonna get our our supper eight, and then we got to get showers in and all that crap. So get a fire going, get a fire going. So I'll probably see you guys when we get the fire going. And then when uh, buddy Josh shows up, so stay tuned guys. So we got supper in and we need firewood and we don't have any, but as we were driving around, I saw all this firewood laying here in front of one of the uh, tent camping sites. There's nobody camping here. So I'm going to gather this stuff up and take it back to the campsite. Now here's my, uh, my little trick for gathering firewood like this, I typically always wear jeans, like I rarely wear shorts. But even if I do have something on, like shorts, if anything that I'm wearing has belt loops on it, I always have a belt on. And this is one of the good reasons for it, because you can use this belt to gather up all your wood. So I'm not going to take this big old piece of wood here, because there's no reason for us to carry that around. But all this smaller stuff will work perfectly. Uh, and all you got to do is lay your belt down here. See if I can do this for you guys. Just lay your belt down like so, like a snake in the grass. And then set all your wood on there. Try to get it centered on the belt as much as you can. So if you get it all packed up in there, it's like, if you remember seeing, uh, I'm old. So if you remember seeing kids carry their books like this to school, at least in paintings, whatever, there you go. Easy way to pick up all your wood and you can just carry it back to camp just like that. Usually like, try to wrap my arm in there, wrap my hand around it like so, boom. There's all our firewood. All I gotta do is walk around with it like so. You can stop and pick up more and undo your belt and throw more in there. So perfect way to do it guys, a little camping hack for you. Here we are back at the campsite. Drop her on down, pull your belt off, put your belt back on, you've got some firewood. All right guys, well, so I don't know if you guys can see me with that hanging on my head. Uh, we're going straight dirt ball this weekend. Jeff called up here before we showed up to see if the showers were open and they told him they were gonna be open. And I just tried to go take a shower and every door's locked and there's a sign on the door saying, close till further notice. So, in two more days of this, we're gonna be pretty rancid, but hey, that's what happens when uh, uh, He's getting thrown in the Things lake. like this happen. Yeah, I think I might actually jump in the lake tomorrow. So get my man boobs out, get some tan on them. But uh, Josh showed up here, one of Jeff's buddies. We're just hanging out, watching the fire. And that's probably gonna be it for the evening. Drink a few more beers and hang out. So anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the adventure. Uh, I'll see you guys in the morning. <laughs>